The standard testing of weed seeds for herbicide resistance normally takes about 12 weeks. But as Peter Butsalis demonstrated in a very dry and windy paddock at harvest time last year, the quick test offers a faster solution any time during the season. The quick test works on grass weeds and also on some broadleaf weeds. It's a rapid test. It takes four weeks from the time we receive the sample to the time that we do the testing and send the report to the client. It works well on young broadleaf weeds. If the weeds get a little bit too old, they, the test can not work. On grass weeds, they can be any stage. These are probably just a little bit too advanced, but early, early flower development is about the, ma the maximum time. So how do you do the quick test? Well, from your side, all we need is to pull out about 20 to 50 plants. So what we do is we can split the tillers, plant the tillers into different pots and spray them with different herbicides. This sample is suitable for a quick test. If these plants were very tall, if they were wild oats, really tall, what you could do is just chop the tops off, leaving us about 10 centimetres of, of plant material and sending that through. That just makes postage easier. These plants are simply placed in a plastic bag no water, don't need to add any water at all. Kept out of direct sunlight. If you pick them on a Friday, you maybe put them in the fridge and post them to us. The beginning of the week is a lot better because it gets to us during that week. They can then be placed in the Bayer bag. Write down the information. Now this bag needs to go into Australia Post express post bag. We need an express post bag because we need these guys to get to us within so, sort of four or five days. So you don't want them to take two or three weeks to get to us with regular mail. Here we've got about the minimum amount of plants that we require to do the test. So once we receive the plants, what we will do back at the lab is we'll make tiny little cuttings out of them, out of all, all of these plants and plant them into pots. We, if they're multi-tillered like that, we split the tillers, making little cuttings. They are planted into separate pots, allowed to regrow for seven days to produce young, actively growing tissue. And then they're sprayed with herbicides in the spray cabinet, which applies a very accurate dose. Even though the plant might be old, it behaves like a young seedling again. And that's why the test is so effective and reliable. The beauty of the, of the quick test is that it's junk, done during the season. It's done outdoors in autumn, in winter, and in early spring, the same time as the weeds are growing in the paddock. The weeds are growing in, with the quick test. We receive really good feedback from farmers that it's very practical. They can take action straight away in that paddock that year to prevent seed set in case it's a very resistant weed. And that is very, very satisfying for us.